Kashmir. As I told you, I'm an electrical engineering student and I'm doing a diploma and this is my final year. So considering it being my final year, I have this project here guys. so that you can be awarded your certificate so then, uh, I'm gonna show you the, the writer you have this panel which you have to present this project of ours I'm gonna show you the prototype which I'm gonna create everything that I'm gonna do and right now I'm gonna introduce you to what actually I'm doing as my project which is automatic feedback for passenger vehicle this is an automatic system for passenger vehicle where whenever a passenger sits on a vehicle and he or she doesn't fasten a belt, a uh, signal is sent and an output is provided, an indicator to him or her and also to the traffic police so that the traffic police can know which specific car has the passengers or passengers who have not fastened their seat belt. So let me directly show you everything we're doing here. Okay guys, here it's my project. Uh, this is my name here, Kill It. Elijah Zioka. <coughs> so let me show you the name here of my this project of mine. And start with guys, yeah project title. So this is the institution which I am at, Kenya Coast National Polytechnic, Electrical and Electronic Department, uh, Project Supervision. This is a supervision sheet, guys. So to let's go directly to project title, Automatic Seat Belt for Passenger Vehicle. Uh, this, this is my project where when, whenever a passenger, a passenger sit on the vehicle and he doesn't he or she doesn't close or fasten the seat belt uh, an alarm system is going to to be activated uh, together with the hazard so that a traffic police can know that this specific car uh, there's somebody inside and he or she hasn't fastened the seat belt guy. Let me read for you just this introduction here. A seat belt, also known as a safety belt, is a device designed to secure the occupant of a vehicle against harmful movement that may result during collision or a sudden stop, guys. So, let me take you to my objective, guys. <coughs> this is a problem statement. Oh, these are my objective here, guys. So, let me read for you my objective. The first objective is to alert the passenger. Sorry, guys. To alert the passenger in the vehicle to fasten the seat belt. And the second objective is to activate hazard light when to activate hazard light on the vehicle when a passenger sits and does not fasten the safety belt and the third objective is to automatically send signal stock data when a passenger is detected on the seat so guys those are my three objectives and i hope i'll be able to accomplish them within this given time guys this is a booklet that we are given by our project lecturer so that you can guide us on what to write, what to do. So, you see, trade project. If you can zoom, guys, just a minute, I zoom so that you can see clearly. Trade project final year report is an important undertaking and is a requirement of any student for the award of a diploma certificate. So, uh, and zoom. Uh, 
show you, let's go inside and show you what's in. So this this book gives us guidelines on what to write, how to write a project, organization ideas, blah blah. So there's this booklet, assistance from how to write our project. So, okay, where is my chapter three? Okay, this is my chapter three, guys. Here, yeah. I'm so excited. See, methodology, and you see, this is my circuit diagram. I have power supply where I'm going to use a battery, battery belt system here, and this uh, force sensing resistor. Then I'm, I'm not going to use this exclusive OR gate, guys. All my system here, yeah. my results are going to go to micro microcontroller, which is my it's my device where I'm gonna program everything and my output now. And also I'm not gonna use this relay here. I'm gonna use a MOSFET transistor. So see how the system works. Uh, now these are. My device is see I'm gonna use a uh, IC LM7805 which is a voltage regulator with an output of 5 volts only and these are the features of the LM uh, this description of the LM the resistance this is my processing I've calculated some the, the LED the the resistance I'm gonna use is this I'm going to use a 10k ohm resistor and exclusive of guys I'm not going to use it so this I'm not going to use I'm going to use a microcontroller guys this microcontroller frames at mega 328p see this is the definition the microcontroller features here down these are the parameters and the mapping on it, it has 28 pins, guys. 28 pins. These are analog pins which I'm gonna use most of the because my output from the from the sensors are analog. These are the description of the pins from pin one to pin number 28. See? Pin number 28. But I'm not yet finished with my chapter 3 guys, you can see I'm still designing my circuits and in the next video I'm going to show you the circuit and how the circuit looks like and how I'll be creating my etching circuit, etched circuit in my computer, my laptop I mean guys. If I finish, see guys I've been calculating a lot, these are my LEDs here. And the resistance, so before I, I get the resistance which I'm gonna use them I have to calculate it here. So this is my buzzer which I'm gonna use here and some little things and my MOSFET transistor there is you see. This is the transistor which I'm going to use as a switch here. And my output outside there. And this is the process of working on working principle of a MOSFET. This MOSFET is gonna act as my switch, guys, automatically switching my circuit. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you're new and turn on the notification bell icon on so that you can be notified whenever I post another video about this project. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.